Hello, hello, welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today's reading is gonna be for Trinity Bacchus. If you guys are here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd like to offer my condolences to Trinity's family. Oh, this is so hard, guys. We are losing so many young people. They're not even getting a chance to realize their potential in life. And they are just meeting, you know, unfortunate circumstances left and right, left and right, left and right. All right, Spirit, can you give us some clear and concise messages in regards to Trinity and what may have happened here? Trinity Bacchus. wasn't greener, internet dating, stepbrother or stepsister, sleepovers, I have an Aquarius, and X is interfering. On the bottom of the deck, we have defensive. I didn't do it. All right, can we get some additional messages here for Trinity, please? Give some additional messages here for Trinity Bacchus, please. That would help us with her case. Trinity Bacchus. Okay, messages for Trinity. Messages for Trinity. Okay, we have gambling addiction coming out. That could just indicate that there's risky behavior going on. We have ignoring. We have a Virgo. Time to retreat. Rage triggered. And we have September. Bottom of the deck, we have divorce or separation. Okay, Trinity Bacchus. What messages for Trinity? In regards to her case. We have not enough coming up. This is someone who lacks confidence. This is a person who may have self-sabotaged here, guys. We have seduction. This speaks of temptations. And we have old school. This is something replaying over and over in your head. Or an outdated way of thinking, but I don't think that's why it's here. Can you give me messages for Trinity? Back us, please. We have Teddy Bear. That's someone being interested in you, a blooming romance, flirting. Someone wanting a date. We're getting Sword and Rose. We have Passion. And we have Ascending. Let's get two more so we can keep it even. Two more messages for Trinity, please. The sword and rose speaks about clarity and truth, guys, or something being revealed. It's a card of protection. It's a card of determination. Um, you know, this could be the energy of her family trying to protect the truth, trying to protect Trinity from being viewed a certain way by people. So they're withholding information. I have poker face. One more message for Trinity, please. And we have separation. 
All right, this passion card speaks to having an insane chemistry with someone or it can indicate that, you know, she was having fun. Um, this poker face coming up talks about taking a chance, taking a risk, gambling again, gambling here, taking a risk, risky behavior. And then we have separation here. There's sadness, bitterness. Someone is either missing her or she's missing someone and she keeps thinking about it. Bottom of the deck, we have the clock card. So there's some healing going on. There's something that has occurred in her life that she is healing from. Without knowing any of her business, I see a couple of things going on here. It may not be important to her case. Um, sometimes when you do readings and you pull these oracle messages, things that are going on in their life are going to come out. It may not directly be, you know, involved in what has occurred. But I do feel like Trinity was dating people over the internet um, or at least talking to people online. There is something here about an ex interfering here. I know certain articles are saying that she did have a boyfriend that lived about 10 miles from her aunt's house. If you guys don't know the background to the case, please go look it up. But I do have some anger here and I have a separation. So this could be a separation that Trinity was experiencing, or this could be like something that may have been going on with her parents because I do have stepbrother or stepsister coming out and we did have divorce or separation on the bottom of the deck. But I like to pick the Oracle card so I can kind of see where the person's mind frame was at the time. Her having all this going on could be why she was, you know, experimenting or, or doing drugs at the time as a coping mechanism. But we'll see what else comes out. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to the night that she went missing. Let's see what was going on there and what was going on around her. We're gonna do a Celtic cross spread, I think, for this. Show me what was going on with Trinity on the night she went missing. I am seeing the devil card. She went missing. Okay, guys. Actually, let me do this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing in this spread, I see a lot of cups here. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We have the Four of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, as well as the Queen of Cups, and we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so this already tells me that Trinity was uh, dealing with a lot of emotions. I see a lot of things going on here. Um, without getting too in detail, I see Possibly some issues with her mother. Um, the, 
but I feel like the issues that will that okay guys so how can I say this okay you guys all know how it is to have um how we we've all been teenagers so you know there's some things going on I think that Trinity was having a problem with and I feel like there was some type of disagreements going on with her mother in regards to her behavior. Um, the reason she may have been at her aunt's house was just to take a break. You know, everyone could just like do like a reset and figure out the best way to help Trinity. I think that she did have some addiction issues here that she was struggling with. Um, I feel like this may have been something that may have been new because I do have justice here in the past energy in the upright. Um, let's clarify this page of wands. What's the page of wands here? I have strength in reverse. But yeah, this is basically just reiterating what we've seen before. I think that if she were misusing drugs, it's due to whatever has been going on in her family. You know, there's some self-confidence issues here. There's some frustrations here. I see her having gone through a very hard time and she's very vulnerable right now. Tell me about this page of wands. I have the nine of swords in reverse. That's stress, anxiety, worry, and depression. I see her wanting to escape that. Give me one more for this page of wands. We're getting the wheel of fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about change, guys. Is change coming into your life? Um, that means that there's a series of events that are getting ready to happen and they may turn out in your favor and it may not. I have the devil. So this can be addictions. Bottom of the deck, we have the world in reverse. So whatever has happened to Trinity, I do feel like it is drug related. I can see that here. We will again ask a different debt later on, but this is the impressions that I'm getting here. In this position, guys, this is your influence on the situation and I have the death card. So unfortunately, I hate to say it, but I kind of feel like she's kind of responsible for her own death in a way. Other people's influence in the situation is the Three of Cups. This can indicate that, again, there was some disagreements in the family. Some things were possibly not being dealt with. Um, this can also indicate uh, that Trinity was feeling alone um dealing with whatever these issues are that she's dealing with here this three of cups in reverse is also the sleepover and something happened at the sleepover that changed everything with that will of fortune energy it changed the energy and this ends up this is sometimes called the party pooper card so i feel like you know something happened here Hopes, dreams, and fears. I have the Six of Cups in reverse. There's an energy here of wanting to go back to the past. Again, this is some home issues. This is bad memories um, that are going on in the family for whatever reason. Then we have this Four of Cups coming out for the outcome. This person is bored this is your boredom card this person is looking for something but they're not quite sure what there's a cup being offered here this person is sitting in um, with their arms folded not quite sure if they are going to accept the cup um this is kind of like a limbo stage the cup hasn't been accepted the cup hasn't been rejected and then we have these other cups down here at the bottom there's other you know choices here I feel like this is her family. I feel like, you know, again, they were trying to figure out how to help her, but I feel like she's somewhat of a child who is um, 
a little wild, I guess you could say. And I don't feel like she was really accepting, you know, or willing to accept the help that was being offered to her. Tell us about this death card. I have temperance and the seven of pentacles. This is again coming out in her influence to the situation. So I do feel like she needed healing. And I'm showing um, that she sowed seeds here with the seven of pentacles she invested. I do believe that, you know, these pentacles represent some, some type of drug. Tell me about the death card. And I have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like, you know, she, in order for her to feel good, she took a drug here and then I'm showing like a fast moving energy. This is the Knight of Wands. This is someone who is, the, this is the second fastest moving Knight of the deck. So she was running towards something or running away from something. Tell me about this death card. We have the two of pentacles, the two of wands in reverse, and then I have the ten of swords. Okay, let's see. So the two of wands is juggling. The two of, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles is juggling. The two of wands is not being able to move forward, but I'm getting two energies here. I do know she had a friend at the sleepover. This two of pentacles makes me feel like the both of them were participating in taking whatever this pentacle is. Let's get a little bit more about this two of wands in reverse. I don't know if this was an argument. What is this two of wands in reverse? Beginning the Two of Swords. Then we have the Page of Swords. And then we have the Five of Wands. So the impression that I'm getting is that she was hanging out with her friend and I do feel like there was some type of argument that occurred. I do have a King of Wands coming up here in the reverse. That could be here to indicate that again, someone was angry or this could actually be a masculine energy showing up here. She may have been texting with the masculine energy. They may have been fighting. If I am to take it on this storyline, I am seeing a possibility of a male coming to see her. This may have been someone that she was dating and they may have had a breakup from the past and they weren't really talking, but this person was coming over. But I feel like it was kept a secret. And I feel like if this is the case, guys, if I'm reading this correctly, remember guys, the, the tarot is never wrong, but we can interpret it incorrectly because we don't know what really happened, right? But what I'm seeing is someone coming in with an offer of something with this Knight of Cups. This is usually like your knight in shining armor, someone that you, you know, you have love for. This knight of cups could be a date. This knight of cups is something. Someone came in I'm going to have to clarify this king of wands before I go too far off on this storyline. But this hermit in reverse is means that you're out of your element. You're not in your normal element. Tell me about this King of Wands in reverse. I have the Six of Wands. And again, we have like a rejected love. But with this Six of Wands, this can indicate that this King of Wands is someone who is very popular. 
We have the Five of Swords. I'm getting more fighting energy, a dispute, some type of struggle. Then we're getting the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So now we have three pentacles and they're in the reverse. I'm getting the four of wands in reverse. Okay, so I'm looking at this a different way now. This king of wands could be like a father figure someone who wanted the best for her but again there was some conflict there um, I'm showing the family not being able to work well together is what I'm picking up on I don't think that this is about love um, it's possible that Trinity is the Knight of Cups okay tell me about the Knight of Cups the Sun in reverse the Fool in reverse yeah and the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I do feel like, you know, everyone's going to point fingers at her family and say, why this? Why did this happen? Why did this not happen? Guys, we have to understand that when these children become teenagers, there's only so much control that you can have. It's kind of a hard phase of their life to go through because they are young adults. They're getting ready to be 18. And depending on your parenting style, sometimes, you know, you do have the the parents who are too friendly with their children then you have the parents who don't budge at all they're you know they're overly protective and then their child usually ends up acting out when they're finally able to get free and then you have the parents who try to to be fair so it's kind of hard between 15 and 18 because you you know you don't want to treat them like a child but then again you want to maintain a certain control in your home I do feel like this Knight of Cups is Trinity. I do feel like she was, uh, again, like I said, she was struggling with some um, possible uh, depression issues. I see her being trapped. She's trapped by her thoughts. And again, if, if she did take a drug, again, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. Everything is alleged. Nothing is to be taken as fact, guys. Remember that if this is Trinity, this would let me know that she did take something in this cup. She took something and it may have like made her paranoid in a way. She may have been having these thoughts that were telling her to escape or to run with this full energy. And this also indicates that you are on an adventure, taking a path that you've never taken before, but it may end in disaster. And I do have an accidental, um, this Knight of Swords in Reverse can indicate that something happened by accident. But now guys, I'm getting masculine energy here. So now this worries me. So now I have an Emperor in Reverse. I have the Seven of Swords in Reverse. And I have a King of Swords. So I feel like there's something to do with her father wanting the truth to come out. And then this King of Swords could be her stepfather who is in law enforcement. But this could indicate that this is her real father. Between the both of them, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So I feel like they are both seeking the truth here. But I think they may possibly already know the truth. They may know what really happened here. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to switch over to the shadow deck and get the lower energies of the situation. And if you are still here and you have not hit the thumbs up button, could you please do that so that you can help out the algorithm? Trinity, Bacchus, can you show us 
what happened to her on the night that she went missing. We're going to do a movie spread, guys. A movie spread to get the energy. Trinity back is. Can you show us what happened with Trinity on the night that she went missing? Trinity back is. Okay, we're getting the Five of Cups in reverse. The Death card. The Chariot. The Five of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. We have a Page of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Fool in reverse. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this Page of Wands is Trinity. So, you know, this is her. She's probably very outgoing. Um, she may be um, athletic, very energetic. Um, very friendly. I'm showing though, again, like I said, there's some struggle here for her with this Five of Cups energy. There's some sadness and she's wanting to get away from it. It's in the reverse. So she's wanting to escape this sadness here. Then we have the Death card and then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse can indicate that you are focused on the wrong things, not taking the right actions. Again, doing something that you shouldn't be doing here. They are pinnacles. I am looking at that in this particular reading as a possible drug. Now, here's where things get a little murky. So this full card is coming out again. Again, an adventure that didn't end well, possible self-sabotage. Um, this is also a card of fear. So there's something here about her going on some type of adventure here, but it didn't end well. And I do have a car, I do have transportation. It's my understanding that Trinity left home with no shoes, no phone, nothing. But we do have transportation here. There's, um, this reading is changing, guys. This reading is changing here. I am still showing some unhappiness here with this Nine of Cups in reverse. This is also a card of overindulgence. But the card that comes out right next to that is the Seven of Swords, guys. That's the Liar, Cheater, Thief card. But it can also represent... strategizing all right let's go in and clarify some of this energy but before we do i'm going to get one more row we have the lovers in reverse <clears throat> we have the knight of swords in reverse the five of pentacles in reverse the queen of pentacles in reverse and then we have the two of pentacles Hmm. So this two of pentacles, I feel like it's her and the friend that was staying over here. They were being sneaky about something. Which deck do I want to use to clarify? We'll use the same deck since her energy is already in here. The first thing that I want to clarify is this car. On the first row, guys, we have uh, 22. That breaks down to the Emperor energy on the top row. 
We also, am, I'm also noting that there are one, two, two major arcana cards here. Tell me about this chariot energy for Trinity. Why is this chariot here? You guys, what I'm seeing is someone could have possibly hit her by mistake. We're getting the sun, the ten of swords in reverse, the page of pentacles in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse. This is a card of wounding. This is our wounded warrior. Then we have this ending here, her death. This page of pentacles, again, I feel like this is the drugs. The drugs are coming out as pentacles. like the sun card is here is because she was high and this nine of wands in reverse is also a paranoia card so bottom of the deck we do have this king of wands here hmm let's get two more cards why is the chariot here for trinity the queen of pentacles then we have the eight of wands in reverse and then we're getting the chariot in reverse on the bottom of the deck with the king of swords have a masculine energy here in regards to some vehicle when the chariot comes out in the reverse that can represent a car accident guys And the Fool can also represent an accident. And the Knight of Swords can represent an accident. Then we have an Emperor who's covering up something. Then we have a King of Cups. And an Empress in reverse. And then Family. Hmm. Okay, I need to clarify this page of pentacles in reverse and this queen of pentacles before I comment. Tell me about this page of pentacles for Trinity in reverse, please. We have the moon in reverse. Tell me about this page of pentacles in reverse. We have the ace of swords. inconsistency an accident but I feel like something's being covered up like I do feel like something happened by mistake but there's some type of cover-up and it's in regards to whatever happened at the sleepover there's another accident card then we have strength and then we have the star card Six of Swords in reverse, a knight, a King of Swords, and then I have the Chariot in reverse. Okay, we're still getting this masculine energy tied to a car. This can indicate that she was moved. Okay, let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I have the seven of pentacles. Uh-oh. Page of wands in reverse. Which 
way am I to take it? That doesn't matter. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. And I have the Chariot in reverse. Okay, so... I was clarifying the Page of Pentacles before this. Then we have a Queen of Pentacles. Now we have a Knight of Pentacles. This is possibly like family members. They're related. It's coming out as the same suit. I do feel like Trinity is this Page of Wands. You know, sometimes, like I said, she doesn't do the right thing. But I feel like this Queen of Pentacles may be her aunt. This may be her aunt again trying to take care of her here, but she's involved here. Possibly. As soon as I say that, I'm getting the Two of Cups and then the Queen of Cups. And then I'm having the card of abandonment and an ending that has been very hard. Holding on to information, something that's been very heartbreaking. Possible cover up here, guys. Tell me about this chariot for Trinity. Why is this chariot here in the reverse? Ace of Cups in reverse. In the Knight of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune. Again, an unfortunate accident. One more for the Chariot and Reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Oh, shoot, y'all. I'm getting the Six of Cups. I'm not going to take all these cards that fell on the floor. It's too many. Let me shuffle to break up some of this energy. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, shoot, y'all. Hierophant in reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so <sighs> Okay, guys. So there's something going on here. Okay, um I do feel like it is something to do with whatever she may have taken. I do see, again, I see family here. Family is concerned. Family is trying to help her. She, again, she's a wild child. I feel like, you know, whatever it was that she took, I don't think it's something that she took all the time. I'm showing that it was something that was, you know, out of, out of her comfort zone, I guess you could say. I feel like this caused her to wander away from home. And I'm showing some type of accident. I'm showing an accident. So let's go back to our original cards here. I 
see some type of accident going on here. Okay, so this lover's card, let's see why this is here. Why is the lover's here in the reverse? Uh-oh, we have a knight of cups and a four of wands. Why is the lover's here? The lovers doesn't have to be an actual lover, guys. It could be a friend, which we have here at the end. I think this is indicating that it was her, her friend, and they were at her aunt's house, and they were taking something with this Knight of Cups. And whatever it was, it made Trinity feel like she had to get out of there. That she had to flee. Devil. This is addiction energy. And again, um, sometimes, you know, the devil comes out when we are doing something that causes our own demise. Why is the lovers here in reverse? There's the lovers again, y'all. Then we have judgment in the reverse. Again, since we don't really know what was going on around her, I do feel like this is for her friend. But if there was something to do with the relationship then there is someone here and if that's the case this lover is sitting in the reverse mm, but I don't think it's about that I think she got lost I have this star card here I have this Ace of Wands in Reverse and Temperance. I think she got lost, y'all. I have this Knight of Swords coming out. That's, again, something that happened you didn't see coming. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Temperance. Temperance comes out, guys, when there's an excess of something. Again, this can come out whenever you are high. Then I have the Ace of Wands and then the Star, same thing. And then I'm getting water. So I think this is like once she left her aunt's house, something bad happened to her here. I have her two water cards, Temperance and the Star, one foot on land, one foot in the water. She was found in a heavily wooded area Okay, so now we have this Five of Pentacles. This is usually a, my abandonment card or ghosting card. Let's see what that's about. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles in reverse. But it also represents someone who, uh, you know, they, they are coming, um, they're trying to repair something like a deep loss, something that has been lost in their life, um, really not knowing how to move forward. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. In reverse for Trinity. We're getting the Ace of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the World in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles. So I think this is <laughs> this is going to go back to the family. Um, I think this is going to be like, you know, conversations that the mother may be having with the aunt or so-called aunt. They're not really sure if this is her biological aunt or if this is just the mother's best friend. But I feel like, again, this family was trying to help her. They were trying to help her. And 
and there may even be some issues that's going on between you know the family and this aunt because they want to know you know what happened how did you know how did she get lost what happened here here it is empress five of cups in reverse three of wands how did that happen how did she get lost Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, she was supposed to care for her, Six of Pentacles, but she got loose. She got loose. And I do see traveling and movement here with this Eight of Wands. Then I have Burden. So this could indicate that, the, you know, the aunt may be feeling re responsible. Hmm. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups. Yeah, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Hierophant in reverse. I'm getting the, the impression that this particular aunt is like a cool aunt. She's not like, you know, the stuffy type. She's the type of aunt that, you know, she thinks outside of the box. She lives her own way. And it may be something that, you know, she may allow Trinity to do things that, you know, a more traditional parent, a more conservative parent would not allow. She may have allowed her to be wild because, you know, maybe she didn't supervise him. Hmm. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Swords. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Uh-oh. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I think she took something, y'all. And I think she had a bad trip. And here's the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Ace of Pentacles here. And it made her leave home. Here's the Fool card. Okay. Tell me about this seven. I'm going to put these back in. I'm going to clarify this seven of swords, and then I'll give my final impressions. This middle row energy is giving temperance energy. Again, that can be an overindulgence in something. That's the 19. The 19 breaks down to the 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune, which can represent an unfortunate event that then breaks down to the one which is the magician. And sometimes we are our own magician, the own creator of our own fates, guys. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, getting the lovers. That could be this best friend down here, that, this Two of Pentacles. And we're getting the magician. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse is a drama queen. And then the fool. So I feel like she, you know, started acting crazy for lack of a better term. And I feel like she just left. And again, it's still an energy here of accusations. It's like, you know, you were supposed to be watching her. You were supposed to be taking care of her. How could you let her out? What happened? Oh. 
Okay, so <clears throat> I am showing her father here. Her father is, is really going to try and understand more clearly what happened here. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Knight of Swords. The Star. This is Trinity. Tell me about the Five of Swords. This could also be law enforcement actually finding her. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse. And the Tower. Yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting here, guys. Let's check out this bottom row. We have five. And two, seven, that's chariot energy again. Now, usually the chariot represents an actual vehicle, but it can, again, just represent movement, but I'm a little worried about that. Okay, Spirit, can you please clarify this bottom row energy? Worry me slightly. Can you clarify this bottom of road energy for me? Okay, so we have five, twelve, twenty-two. Twenty nine, thirty nine, forty, forty five, forty six, forty seven. 39, 39, 40, 45, 46, 47. That breaks down to the 11 and the 2, which is just the high priestess overall. Tell me about this bottom row energy. Tell me about this bottom row energy. Queen of Swords. Tell me about this bottom row energy for Trinity, please. Eight of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups, Ace of Wands in reverse, Four of Swords. This Ace of Wands in reverse. The Sun. The Eight of Swords. One more. Tell me about this Ace of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. I'm just seeing escapism, guys. Escapism is what led to this tower. Again, this is a child who is going through some confidence issues, some family issues, and it was causing her to party. And it led to this tower moment. And she did it to self-soothe. That's what I'm seeing. I don't believe foul play is here. This is the initial reading. I'm not quite sure. You know, I haven't really seen a whole bunch of news coverage on this. I'm not sure if we're going to really get any information, guys. But this is what's coming out in the initial read for her. I'm going to pull from one more deck before we get out of here. This is a deck that I made. If 
I can find it. I see it. for training these backups, please. Can we get messages for Trinity backers. Can we get messages for Trinity. We have older adult. They knew their attacker or killer. We have insurance money. Quiet witness, someone knows something. I can't get it together. Get it together now, energy. Come on. Trinity, back us, please. Clear and concise messages for Trinity. We're getting mind games. We're getting the magician card. Three more off the top. We have something about daytime, tied up or restrained in hospital. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Can you tell me why is insurance money here? We have organization or meeting, which is the um, hierophant. Then we have taken money. Why is insurance money here? New beginning. That's the fool. Then we have teen on the bottom of the deck. Seeing the truth now. Tell me about insurance money. Over it, fed up. Tell me about insurance money. For Trinity. Stable home life. Saving. So I just saw the block card. So I think that what this is going to come down to, I don't know if she has a policy. There may be like some issues with the policy once the uh, medical reports come back. Um, let's find out why Mind Games is here. Why is Mind Games here for Trinity? I have Moon. And I have stubborn. That could be Trinity's energy. You know, maybe she doesn't always tell the truth. Causes, um, you know, I don't know the child, you know. Uh, maybe she's stubborn at times. Tell me about mind games. For Trinity. have stalker that's a weird card to get we have hermit denial ghosting holding yourself back hermit is again being out of your element <sighs> The stalker card is essentially the page of swords. So again, this could indicate that she wasn't thinking clearly. It doesn't have to actually indicate that she has a stalker. This moon card could mean, you know, mind. You know, maybe her mind was playing tricks on her. And I feel like she was, she got lost, y'all. Tell me about hospital. 
And to, for me, that often indicates that the person was hurt or they were in a state where they needed to go to a hospital. I'm getting new path and I'm getting snake. Tell me about the hospital. I have reward paying off, paranoia, death, and then I have defensive. Hmm. So I have two energies here, y'all. Either Trinity left the home. I have a couple of theories, but I'm not going to really get into them tonight because there are some mixed energies coming out in these cards. So either Trinity left home, she got lost, and she was in a state where she needed medical help, and something happened to her, and she passed away. Um, or at, when she got lost, someone may have hit her, like on the side of the road, and they may have covered her up to try and cover up the accident. I am getting possible energy of that as well. Because I do have a male with a car here. The third theory is something happened to her at her aunt's house. And they didn't want to get in trouble for it. So they uh, abandoned her body. Again, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. We don't really know what happened, but that's where I'm at currently with Trinity's reading. Let me see, is there anything else that I wanna pull before we go? I'll pull from this deck real quick, a few cards. Just for Trinity, please. But the strongest theory as far as I am concerned is I'm leaning more towards someone hitting her on the side of the road. We have obsession, guys. That's the devil card again, dealing with addictions. We have triumph of lies. This could indicate, you know, the family lying and not really telling the truth about what really happened. Because I don't think they've even mentioned like the drug use publicly. Then we have faded to suffer. That's that faded card, that Wheel of Fortune energy. We have downcast pride. I almost bent this card. Bride in a cage. We have black flower fragrance. That That's the energy of like you saying, fuck the world. Excuse my French, but that's literally what it says. Then we have the sacrifice card. Calling the storm. And addicted. bottom of the deck we have queen of the world queen of my world again I feel like this is a child uh, who she has some behavior issues and I do feel like her family is covering up the truth because they are worried about how everyone will look at them but I do feel like um, Trinity felt trapped in her life whatever may have been going on in her life um and I do feel like it led to uh, her experimenting with drugs here. Okay, guys. Well, that's been the reading for Trinity, the, at least the first reading. So um, if you guys are still here, you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you on the next read.